Yeah, we can start in uh, three, two, one. Oh, hi, I'm Izzy Panetta. I'm a sophomore and I'm in the Emerging Media Arts major. My name is Sydney Peters. I'm a sophomore and I'm in the Emerging Media Arts program. Uh, I'm Taylor. I'm a sophomore and I'm in the Emerging Media Arts program. <laughs> Going through EMA was um, kind of a leap of faith. Um, I actually planned on doing something completely different. I was going to be an ACSI major at the Cobb. Thank goodness I didn't go that route. Um, then I applied to this major got accepted. Initially, I was shortlisted, so I was like, mm, maybe not. But I got accepted and I took it because I had a big interest in post-production and film. So in high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But then I heard about this program and I was like, it sounds interesting because film and music really interest me. And then I was like, oh, it's in Nebraska. What's in Nebraska? But then I figured, OK, I'm just going to try something new. And I came here and it turns out I actually really like it. Um, well, I actually was going to do technical theater, mm -hmm. and that's what I was accepted into when I first applied to UNL. Uh, and then I got more interested into film and wanted to apply to film and new media, but it no longer exists because EMA, or I'm sorry, e Emerging Media Arts is uh, taking over and like including that along with the broader spe spectrum of like media and virtual reality. So mm -hmm. I decided to take that route instead. My current crew right now, which is Taylor, Sydney, and I, um, we're just put in a group randomly. That's kind of how they assign groups, just randomly. And then at least this semester, we've been given three films to do. This is our third, so right before our final. The concept for this one is an experimental video. Um, experimental covers a whole lot of different kind of films, but uh, our aspect is kind of going through like the point of view of a person who's dazed and kind of like suffering from hallucinations. So we're kind of doing a point of view shot where they're all being handheld. And uh, we're really trying to set a vibe with the our surroundings and like the buildings, kind of like a creepy tone with how empty they are. I'm really into like hallucinations, I guess. So it's about this, it's a point of view of this person who, ha who hasn't slept in a while, so she's starting to have these hallucinations, going, walking through campus, and she's seeing this person that, that she thinks is following her, but it's not actually a real person. And then it's just really basically just following her around through those hallucinations. So today we did our first shooting. Um, it's definitely rough. We're probably gonna go through a shot list again, um, but that's just how these things go, you know, like refining as you go, saying, okay, let's fix this next time, or don't, don't do that next time. Mm -hmm. We were doing a lot of walking around the temple building and taking creepy shots. They, uh, the temple building's really heavy in yellow light, which looks good whenever you're trying to do something creepy. And they have a lot of narrow hallways and weird looking abstract pictures and photos at the end of the hallways with the bright yellow light shining onto it. So we were taking a lot of those just to help kind of set the mood and set the tone for the film. Positives are, like, you know, we have access to, like, buildings that are creepy. Like, that, that's a huge thing right now, like, finding a set, finding a place to shoot. Like, it's such a challenge, especially with COVID. Another challenge is actors. Like, we have learned that we need to write in actors with masks. Like, that's what it is now. And, like, honestly, the challenges have all just been COVID-related. Like, as you know, there's nothing COVID hasn't affected at this point. Um, we don't have access to certain equipment right now because they're trying to limit uh, touching <laughs> and everything. Uh, so we can't do everything that we really want to do. But that's kind of been the challenge, just trying to find stuff to do. Most of my classes are online. Um, access to buildings, sometimes it's a little off because you can only have a certain amount of people. You have to have your mask on at all times. So sometimes that's hard to film because... The last film had a lot of dialogue, but we had to cut that out because the mass would just ruin it. So it's kind of different with everything. Our major is very hands-on experience. Like, you can only learn so much through someone telling you what to do. You have to, like, get a camera in your hands. You have to get your hands working in the, the software that you're editing with. Otherwise, you're not going to learn how to do it. So there's been a lot put on us, and it is stressful. You know, like, we've talked with Megan, who's the director of EMA, and she's like, I understand, like, none of this is ideal. It's it's really complicated, but we just have to make do with what we have. And I think everyone is learning how to do that, you know, like, 
just this year as a whole, just learning how to roll with the punches and figure it out as you go along. Yeah, that's basically everything I got for this one. Okay, perfect.